Hey, the weather is just right for going outside, cooking it up. Maybe you've got an NFL draft party. Maybe you just want to show off for your friends and family. Either way, we've got some great, unique recipes for you from our friends with a brand new restaurant that is coming up. So I want to say hello to Patrick Dillon, as well as Sue Chef Kevin here. Strings Sports Brewery, that is yes. opening up in Springfield. I know people in that community are, are really looking forward to it opening up. It's, yes. it's a revitalized area now. Yes, sir, absolutely. We're looking forward to being open. We're shooting for uh, somewhere in the beginning or middle of June, um, and it's gonna be a sports brewery. We'll brew our own beer, craft beer, and then a chef-driven casual restaurant um, connected to it that we're just gonna do fun, approachable, uh, food and showcase Northeast Florida. Yeah, I know that there's a lot of breweries out there and pubs that they've got good beer, right? Yes, sir. The food's not always that good. It's just regular chicken wings, yes, french sir. fries, cheeseburgers. That's not the point here. You're yes, trying sir. to make it really customized. Yeah, yes, sir. So um, I'm, I'm originally from here, lived in South Florida for a little bit, and then most recently in Charleston, and just uh, been working in restaurants since I was 16. I'm now 29, and I've worked my way up the ladder and um, got an opportunity to move back home and help open this restaurant as the executive chef. Um, and I just want to, like I said, highlight Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia, local ingredients, just uh, straightforward food. If you start with a good product, you don't have to do a lot to it, and, but in an approachable manner as well. Okay, so you guys have been working really hard. Let's talk about this yes, first. Sir. You just pulled them off the grill. So these are our strings wings. Uh, we brine them in sweet tea, and then we smoke them. And then we hit them on the grill. We toss them in our Alabama white sauce. It's a, like a tangier ranch. And then we um, toss them in that, put them on the grill, and toss them one more time. Okay. And then they hit your table. I mean, may I? Please. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on in, Kevin. You've been working hard on this. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. It's got a lot of different flavors in there. Sweet, smoky, creamy, all kinds of stuff. Thank Over you. here, look at this spread. Come on, Freddie. All kinds of things. Looks like grilled cheese, but with a kick. Yeah, so it's kind of like an adult grilled cheese. It's um, a Cheshire pork belly um, that we rub, dry rub, and then smoke. Um, brie cheese, uh, apple butter, um, whole grain mustard, and it's on a brioche bread. Okay. And then over here, those are uh, typical chips. Yeah, so those are what we're calling sweet potato nachos. Mm -hmm. um, we shave fresh sweet potatoes. Um, Fry them, and then um, it's topped with a Gouda fondue, a brown butter, crunchies, kind of like breadcrumbs, and then chives. Wow, that is really good. And to round out the trio, that's a uh, so that's our refreshing dish, if you will. Uh, it's a street corn salad. It's we roast the corn, um, toss it in a lot of lime, uh, Southwest crema, jalapeno, scallions, cilantro, and we smoke cotilla cheese on top. Okay, so did you come up with this menu? Yes, I did. How it, long does that take? to come well, up with a brand new rent menu for a restaurant that hasn't opened yet. Well, well for me, it's, this has all been a process of four, five, six years all in the making. So okay. everywhere I've gone, picked a little bit, writing notes, taking notes, learning from the chefs I've worked with, other cooks yeah. I've worked with, and just developing in, it into my own. And this is a homecoming because, you know, not only have you worked all over, this is the first time that you are the executive chef at a restaurant. So yes, sir. It's got to carry a little bit more weight to it. You got to get this right. Right. <laughs> absolutely. It's my name on it. Um, but that's like I said, I've been working towards having this opportunity for a long time. Um, in, on the top of the homecoming, the two brewers, um, I grew up next door to them. Really? Um, their parent, my parents and their parents still live next door to each other. We've been friends since we were like 14 years old, so it's a homecoming and all, all right. sorts. It's almost like a family affair. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait for you guys to open. You said sometime in June, yeah. we're going to keep you posted on that opening as soon as the official date is announced. And where's it going to be exactly in Springfield? Give us the details. Ninth and North Main Street. Okay. Um, 1850 right the North Main Street, right on the corner of uh, Ninth and Main. All right. Patrick, Kevin, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank and, you guys very I got much. some work to do, don't I? <laughs> Come on, Freddie. <laughs> We'll save some for you. That is really, really good. Mm. We'll be right back. <laughs>